this is the fourth time I am shooting this video so if this video manages to make it to YouTube praise God hallelujah cuz this was a test okay channel the beauty evangelist here and if this is your first time watching my video welcome don't forget to subscribe and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how I get my no makeup makeup look with using like very few products and yeah as it implies no makeup makeup look anyway let's get into it enough babbling and let's jump right into the video so guys, I already prepped my skin. If you want to see a video on how I get my skin prepped and ready for my makeup, you can head over to my Instagram at the beauty evangelist right here. And make sure you follow, join the gang, the beauty gang, 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 and let's get into it. So um, I feel like for a no makeup makeup look, skincare is a very, very, important and essential aspect of getting the perfect look so i already prepped my skin but i'm still gonna prep my skin further okay and i really want my skin to look very hydrated because when your skin looks very hydrated it kind of takes away from um all the roughness and craziness going on in your skin as you guys can see i am breaking out i don't know what is going on maybe it's close to that time of the month or something but I'm breaking out badly and I almost never break out so I'm gonna start using this serum from skin ink it's my daily it's called my daily days of glow my daily dose of glow sorry I cannot speak so this is the serum I'm gonna be using and let me open it up guys this is serum is so cute I love it um it has like little specks of pink and blue like gels but they kind of dissolve into your skin as you put it on it's so good so good so i'm going to be taking a little of that serum i'm not putting the dropper on my face because that is bad that's not good except you're a beauty guru or something but I'm not a beauty girl, I'm just a regular person. Did you guys see how that just like dissolved into my skin? You can't even tell that um, I just put on a serum that had droplets of colors. And those droplets, I don't think they're just like for sure or something. I read about it before, I know. I said those droplets are some kind of vitamins or something I don't remember but you guys can definitely look up that product it's from skin ink and it's called my daily days of those my daily dose of glow all right you see how that just like melted into my skin I really really love this product guys super super duper duper good so up next i'm gonna be using something i love love and that's my um primer hydrator plus illuminer cream my alpine berry water cream and i'm gonna be using that as a primer this is like a teeny weeny size that i got from my salure beauty box from my april edition so i love this product and it's a korean brand it's so good i love it so i'm going to use that on my face and just focus that especially on my t-zone area my skin looks more woken up and i love it so up next, I'm going to use my eye cream from AHC Essentials. Take it out the package. Yep. All right. So I'm going to take my 
ring finger and I'm gonna put a little bit on my ring finger then I'm gonna massage that into my other ring finger and so also guys um, I'm gonna be using my milk I told you I like to hydrate and the crazy thing is I'm super oily but when I hydrate my skin like it's really pretty good before I put on my makeup it kind of tricked my skin into thinking oh I don't need to produce that much oils because I'm pretty hydrated so my milk hydro grip primer and I'm gonna be using Oh my gosh my brows look so crazy like I don't mind having my brows undone but now they look so crazy I really need to thread them I can't wait till my eyebrow thread bar place opens up so I'm gonna be showing you guys how I get my no makeup makeup look right about now after we're because we're done with the skin the skin is looking pretty hydrated pretty bouncy and nice I don't know if you guys can see that I'm gonna start off using my Juvia's place um, I think they're called the I am magic foundation sticks and I'm gonna be using the shade a Bijan and so the thing about Juvia's place guys I don't think I'm ever gonna purchase anything from them because first of all Your customer service is sucks pretty badly like they don't have good relationships a good relationship with your customers at all your customer service is mighty mighty annoying I'm not purchasing anything from Juvers please because your customer service is very bad very bad and I mean 10 over 10 bad so I'm just gonna center the product on my back spots not so much just a little bit here and a little bit there mm, all my discoloration and I'm gonna center it there so um, anywho back to the thing with Juvia's place so I ordered the, um, the I am magic bundle set from them oh guys this is my clean beauty coconut water high biscuits gold mist and I just sprayed that all over my face and I'm just gonna let that sit in my face for a minute before I blend out the foundation so I was saying the thing with Juvia's face right so I ordered the I am magic bundle set that's like a set of five stick foundations during the, one of your sales I believe it's your Black Friday sale and I was excited, really excited. Don't get it twisted. I love, love Juvia's Place as a brand, but I don't love the way their their company handles like customers. It's pretty, pretty messed up. So um, I ordered it, and I was expecting my products to come correct, and I was expect, I was excited, really excited for the foundation sticks to come. But guess what? They sent me the wrong shades. Like, I, I think I ordered the deep dark. I, no, I don't think I ordered. I did order the deep dark um, bundle, the deep dark kingdom bundle, because obviously I am dark, okay? So I ordered the deep dark kingdom bundle and they sent me a dark kingdom bundle, not the deep dark kingdom bundle. I think I have the um, order right here on my phone. I'm gonna look it up. Do you guys see? It says Deep Dark Kingdom Bundle. And that is what I ordered from them. But I got the Deep, I, mean, I got the Dark Kingdom Bundle instead. And that had a, pretty much all the shades were not my shade. Like none of them. Even this one, I'm literally finessing it to work for me. 
So the shades they sent me were not my shade. And I was being mad. I sent them a message and I'm like, okay, okay, okay. You guys sent me the wrong bundle. This is not the bundle I ordered. I probably sent them like five emails and nobody got back to me. I even went on their Instagram and I think I commented on one of their photos. But nobody got back to me and I'm like, okay, all right, bet, no problem. That's why they're cancelled for me. I'm not purchasing nothing from them ever in my life. Then they pretty much sent me a, an email like a month or two months after that saying, oh, hey, rate our product that you purchased or whatever, whatever from us, blah, blah, blah. I was like, okay, all right. Then I said, the customer service sucked because they sent me the wrong product. And I was writing that in the review where they said I should review your product on their website. I said the customer service sucked because what I ordered that, I didn't get what I ordered literally. So they sent me the wrong product, blah, blah, blah. And I gave them like a, gave the product review like a one, like no stars, not even one star, no stars at all. Cause I was like, they sent me the wrong shades. So, um, they eventually ended up sending me a 10% coupon of my next order. I'm like, okay. How is that gonna make up for the fact that you sent me the wrong shade? And even before I opened it, I sent you guys several, several, several emails telling you guys you sent me the wrong shade, but nobody ever got back to me. But don't get it twisted. I love the brand. I like, I have a lot of stuff that I've purchased from the brand so far, but I'm never, and I mean never, doing that. Juvia Space is canceled for me, because, your customer service pretty much sucks. So I'm just gonna blend out this foundation and ensure it's blending out properly. So I like it. Do you guys see it? It looks like I have nothing on my skin. And that's exactly what I'm going for because it's a no makeup makeup look. I don't want people to be able to tell that I have makeup on. So up next, I'm gonna use my I am Magic Foundation Stick in the shade Guinea. And I'm just gonna lightly, using my index finger again, I'm just gonna lightly place that under my eyes to kind of brighten up my under eye area. So I'm gonna start by placing it in the outer corner right here and in the inner corner right here. Then take a little bit of product again and do the same thing on the other eye, outer corner and inner corner. So I'm gonna blend that out, guys. I know I look crazy, but there's a there's a method to my madness, I think. So yeah, I'm gonna blend that in a spot, kind of. I'm just gonna blend this in this spot. Then blend it out. Then I'm going to blend that one in my inner corner also in this spot, but I'm going to bring it down my nose a little bit. A little bit, a lot of bit, but then blend it out. Literally spread it out under my eyes and blend that out so you guys want to make sure you blend it's a lot of blending and I'm gonna just take it to my eyelids I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing then 
make sure the product under my eyes is very well blended out. Lightly. Do you guys see the difference between this eye and this eye? This eye and this eye. This eye looks like she got a good night's rest. Oh, this one looks like she was out all night. Now that that's all blended out, I'm gonna move to the other eyes. I'm using the same technique I used with this. So guys, my eyes are all blended out. It's all blended out. So I'm just gonna take my brush and just like blend out the end. Guys, we're all blended out. And we look awake. We look like we slept. We don't look this crazy anymore. So I'm what I'm gonna do next is just pop a little bit of powder under my eyes. So I'm gonna be using my Laura Mercier in the translucent powder in the shade dark. And I'm just I'm using my Real Techniques 307 brush and I'm gonna dust off all the excess powder and just sweep the powder lightly under my eyes. I have very, very little product under my eyes. So I'm just gonna sweep it to kind of set my under eye area. So not putting any extra product on my brush, I'm just gonna set my entire face using that brush. kind of took away the shine as you guys can see but the thing about also a no makeup makeup look I try to stay away from too much powder because powder gives coverage and then people can tell you have makeup on sis they can tell they can they can tell you can't tell me you baked your under eye and you're saying you're doing a no makeup makeup look we can tell up next, I like to take my Juvia's Place Nubian Palette. As you can tell, I have a ton of Juvia's Place products that I'm not going to put in the trash just, plus, just because your customer service is trash, literally. But I'm going to use it because I bought it with my coins. And my coins shall not go to waste. So I'm going to be using my Juvia's Place Nubian's Palette and I'm gonna be using it right here and I put a little bit of that shade on my brush already and I'm just gonna tap 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 dust it off then I'm gonna use that to burn my face my cheek a little bit so I'm just gonna focus it on the outer corner on my cheek then palette by BH Cosmetics right here and I'm just gonna be using this cute brush that I own fluffy and pointed and using this orange shade in my palette I'm gonna put on some blush on my face okay so I'm gonna dust 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 dust, dust and kind of apply that on the apples of my cheek That's what we have for skin. The 
this is how we're looking you can still if I move closer you'll still be able to see all my pores all my smile lines all my wrinkles all my pimples all my everything because this is a no makeup makeup look and I want my skin to look like skin I don't want my skin to look like I have makeup on so that's it for skin I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera then I'll be right back all right guys so I'm back so I'm just gonna take a blending brush and just lightly sweep this brown color right here into my crease from my uh, I'm using my um the same Moroccan sunset palette and I'm just sweeping that lightly into my crease I'm gonna be using my Maybelline snap scar mascara if you have brown mascara that would be preferable but I don't have brown mascara right now so I'm just gonna pop a little bit of this one on my eyelashes so you guys can see I only used a little bit of mascara you can't really tell the difference I just wanted to make my lashes pop a little bit Vaseline rosy I think it's the pink lips or rosy lips and I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on my lips using my LA colors high shine lip gloss in the shade snuggle I'm gonna pop that on my lips that down using the paper towel just a little bit to make it look more natural and also guys I'm gonna spray my face real quick I'm just gonna let that dry down for a little bit then I'm gonna put on my dewy sticks by Seattle London this stuff it is so so beautiful i love it it's like a highlighter but without color it's a, literally a translucent highlighter it looks something like this i love it so while my face is drying down i'm just gonna wait for that to dry down then i'm gonna pop some of that on my on the highest point of my cheek and on everywhere on normally highlight to get that dewy, dewy look. just gonna spray my face one more time using the same clean beauty hibiscus coconut global mint and there you have it guys the finished look do you guys see how natural my face looks like it looks like I didn't put in nothing and that's exactly what I was going for
sure you like this video if you enjoyed watching it and don't forget to subscribe leave a nice comment because i'll appreciate that and also make sure you hit that notification button if you can so you'll be notified every time i post a new video and that's it so thank you guys make sure you stay beautiful and let the beauty of jesus be seen in you bye